Hello everyone! Do you want to study math like the smartest teenagers on Earth? These six legends didn't just win medals at the International Mathematical Olympiad, they rewrote what it means to master math. International Mathematical Olympiad, or IMO, is the most prestigious math competition for students. Younger than 20 years old, with participants from over 100 countries. And today, we're breaking down the exact study techniques of these successful IMO contestants. Number six has been selected for this video as six is also the number of problems in one IMO exam. And six is a perfect number too. At number one, we have Alex Song from Canada. Alex is the most successful contestant with the highest number of gold medal. Alex won six medals, including five gold. His secret was always explaining math to others. He contributed hundreds of detailed solutions on art of problem-solving forums not just for clout, but to learn better. He believes when you explain a concept, you force your brain to connect every dot. You find gaps you didn't know you had. He suggests teaching what you've just learned out loud, on paper, or in a video. Teaching is the fastest way to mastery. Moreover, he recommended keeping a mistake journal write down problems you couldn't solve wrong approaches you tried, and what you learned from the correct solution. Alex spent significant time mastering concepts before rushing into contest preparation. He is currently pursuing a PhD in number theory at the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign. Next on our list is Lisa Sauerman from Germany. Lisa is the most accomplished female contestant in the history. She won for gold medals and won silver, and her study method was crystal clear. Don't try to learn everything at once. Master one topic before moving on is her first advice. She tackled one subject at a time, like geometry, then combinatorics, then number theory, digging into each until she truly understood it. That laser focus gave her an edge. She wasn't just familiar with concepts, she was fluent. Lisa didn't settle for memorizing how a problem was solved. She made sure she understood the reasoning behind each step and often tried solving it again on her own. Her mastery is built through focus and deep understanding. Lisa also recommended incorporating relaxation techniques and physical activity into the daily routine she believed that can enhance mental clarity and reduce stress, contributing to better performance. Lisa is currently a mathematics professor at the University of Bonn in Germany. The third person on our list today is Theodor von Berg from Serbia. Theodor von Berg has the highest number of medals, shared with Alex Song. He won six medals, including for golds. His secret? Need to love math. His main goal is to enjoy math. And if you are good enough, smart enough, talented enough, and also work hard enough through enjoyment and fun, you will eventually reach Olympiad level. Also, he suggests focusing on weak areas systematically. Everyone has strengths. Champions fix their weaknesses. Don't just do what you're good at. To some extent, fixing the weaknesses is similar to how Novak Djokovic became the most decorated tennis player until now. Number four is Cyprian Manolescu from Romania. He scored three perfect 42 at the IMO, a nearly impossible feat. His strategy? Thinking backwards. Instead of starting from the beginning, write out what the final answer should look like and ask yourself, what had to happen just before this? And before that, this reverse approach often reveal hidden paths to the solution. Working backward can crack the code. When he was stuck, Cyprian would picture the result he needed and work his way back to the beginning. It's like solving a maze from the finish instead of the start. This technique is especially useful in geometry and proof-based number theory problems. Also, he suggests mastering the fundamentals thoroughly. Even the most complex problems are built from simple concepts. Cyprian is currently a professor of mathematics at Stanford University in the topology and the geometry groups. Number five on our list is Peter Scholz from Germany. While he was not the most decorated IMO winner, he is among the most prominent mathematicians who ever participated in IMO. Peter won the field's medal at the age of 30, making him the second youngest medalist in the history. His first IMO advice is to think abstractly, elegantly, and creatively. 
Push yourself to find general patterns behind problems and draw analogies between problems and different topics. He also suggested not overdoing the volume of practice, focusing on quality over quantity. Currently a math professor at the University of Bonn and known for his work of perfectoid spaces, Peter Scholes is considered one of the most influential mathematicians in the world today. And finally, we have Terence Tao from Australia. He is the youngest gold medalist at the age of 13, after winning medals in the previous two years. He is often called the Mozart of math and the most gifted mathematician of our time. So, what made him different? Tao didn't cram. He didn't obsess over speed. He played. He explored. For him, math was a playground. But even as a kid, Tao didn't just solve problems, he played with them. Instead of racing to get answers, Tao liked to tweak problems. He'd ask, what happens if I change this number? What if I flip this around? Can I solve this another way? Make educated guesses, sketch diagrams, try small cases. Then formalize your reasoning carefully and write a clean proof. That mindset built a deep and intuitive understanding of mathematics from a young age. He believes in use intuition, then backing it with rigor first, get a feel for the problem. Also, when solving a problem, don't stop after one answer. Ask, what happens if I change this value? Or can I solve this using a different method? Turn each problem into a mini playground. Curiosity breeds creativity. Tao recommends building a strategy notebook, such as working backwards, considering extreme cases, and drawing diagrams. Having a diverse set of tools allows for more effective and creative problem solving. At the moment, Terence Tao is a professor of mathematics at University of California, Los Angeles. Let's summarize the key strategies from all of these legends. First is to love math and enjoy solving the problems rather than focusing on winning the competition. Second is to build a strong foundation by mastering the fundamentals before practicing the problems. Third is to study each problem deeply, playing around with it and trying to solve it in many ways. Fourth is to solve problems backwards. Start with what you're asked to prove, then work backward and use your intuition to see if it can lead you to construct a proof. Fifth is to push yourself to figure out general patterns and focus on quality over quantity. When practicing for IMO finally, practice systematically by focusing on one area at a time. Keeping a mistake journal and spending time fixing your weak or less interested areas before them. Competition. So here they are. Tips from the best IMO participants. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you learned something new today. Look forward to the IMO 2025 hosted by Australia and Sunshine Coast. Please like and subscribe to support the channel.